Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross video on determining an angle in a shape formed by using sides or extended sides of polygons. So here, for example, we've got a regular pentagon, that's five sides, a regular hexagon, that's six sides, and then we've got this kind of triangle here formed by just joining these two corners of the polygons, and we're trying to find X. Now, if this is a regular polygon, that means all the sides are the same length. So this side would be the same as this side. I'm going to put a little mark to indicate they're the same length, which is the same as this side. They're all the same length. But because this is a regular pentagon, this side would be the same as this side, the same as this side, etc. And that means, if you look, that side is the same as that side in length. And what kind of triangle do we therefore have here? Well, it's an isosceles triangle because two of the lengths are the same. So what we could do is we could work out this angle here first, and then if we know this angle, because we know this is an isosceles triangle, we could work out x. Now in a previous video, we saw how to find an angle um, that's remaining after we consider other polygons. So we could find this angle here and this angle here, and then we subtract them from 360 to get that one. Now just as a reminder, um, to find each interior angle, of any n-sided regular polygon, the formula is 180 minus 360 over n. I'm not going to explain why that works again, just to avoid repeating myself, but that's the formula we're gonna use. So if we do it on the hexagon, 180 minus 360 over six is 120 degrees. We use that formula, so that's 120 degrees. For the pentagon, it's 180 minus 360 over the number of sides, so that's five in this case and that gives you 108 degrees. So that's 108. And then we can subtract those two angles from 360 because those angles around this single point here add up to 360. So 360 minus 108 minus 120 is 132. So that means this angle here is 132 degrees. Now I'm running out of space, but in this isosceles triangle, we know that these two base angles are the same. Because if these two sides are equal, then we follow our fingers, those two angles there are equal. So we can therefore do 180 minus 132, which is 48 degrees. That means these two angles add up to 48, and then 48 divided by two is equal to 24 degrees. So that is X, that's the final answer for X there. What about this next one here? We've got a regular nonagon, that's nine sides. We could count the number of sides of this, but it's nine. So we use this formula again, 180 minus 360 over nine, and that is 140 degrees. So therefore, this angle is 140 degrees, this angle is 140 degrees, this angle is 140 degrees. All the interior angles of this nonagon, 140 degrees. Now let's think what's happening up here. And I wish I'd made this diagram bigger. But can you see this side here is this side here extended out. So you're taking this side of the polygon and you're extending it out further in the same direction. And because of that, that's a straight line. So we know that angle, that exterior angle there, and that interior angle add up to 180. So we just do 180 minus 140 is 40 degrees, so that's 40 degrees there. And just by symmetry, if that's 140 there, that's also 40 degrees there. So these two angles add up to 80 degrees. And then we subtract from 180 because the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. 180 minus 80 is equal to 100 degrees. So that is y, so y is 100 degrees. Okay, now the final one. This one's a bit harder. Now we've got this shape outside these two polygons here and it's actually formed a quadrilateral. What do we know about the angles on a quadrilateral? Well, they add up to 360 degrees. Now we need to find the interior angle of the octagon because then if we know the interior angle, we can find the exterior angle here. Now we do 180 minus 360 over the number of sides, which in this case is eight and that is gonna give you 135 degrees. So that is 135 degrees. Now if that's the interior angle, that's the exterior angle. You can see that's a straight line because this side has been extended out. 180 degrees minus 135 is 45 degrees. We can do the same here. So that's a pentagon. We already saw that the interior angle of a pentagon is 108 degrees. 
So that angle there is 72 degrees. We just do 180 minus 108 because that's a straight line to give you 72. Now we're nearly done. We just need to find this final angle here in this quadrilateral and then we can find Z. So we can do what we did in this first question here. We know that the angles around this point add up to 360. So that's 135, that's 108. So we just do 360 minus 108 minus 135. If I do that on a calculator, that gives you 117 degrees. So this angle here, sorry about my small writing, that angle is 117 degrees because those three angles added up to 360 degrees around that point. Now we've got everything we need. We've got this angle is 72, this angle is 117, this angle is 45, and the four angles all add up to 360 because it's a quadrilateral. So we just do 360 minus the 72, minus the 117, and minus the 45, and that will give you the final angle in this quadrilateral here. So let's do that, and that gives you 126 degrees. So that is Z. Z is 126 degrees, and that is the final answer.